What's going on, all you sports and gambling fans out there? Today, we have a lot of NCAA basketball betting coverage for you. And joining me here to help me out is Ross Benjamin, our SBR contributor. Now, one of the games that we're looking at here is the Providence Friars going up against the Villanova Wildcats. And everyone, don't forget, Ross is 5-2 and two in the last seven games that we covered in the last couple of days. Anyways, how you doing today, my man? It's March Madness, baby. Let's keep it going. <laughs> all right, hell yeah. Now, some stiff competition for Providence in this spot as the fourth seeded Friars will have to get through the number one seed Villanova in the semifinals in New York today to earn their second straight trip to the final. The deal is that the two times that these two teams have already played this season, Villanova took them both, 74 to 68 back on February the 11th and 89 to 61 on the 24th of that same month. So Ross, I mean, if the Friars wanna have a shot here, what are they gonna have to do, man? Well, they're gonna have to clamp down defensively uh, they were torched by Villanova in the first two encounters. The Wildcats shot a sizzling 51.7% from the field and averaged 75.5 points per game in those two contests. But you know what? Providence was awfully impressive during a 74-57 quarterfinal win over St. John's on th Thursday, especially considering the fact it's a virtual home game for the St. John's Red Storm when they play at Madison Square Garden. The Friars are pretty much a lock to be in the NCAA tournament, barring something unforeseen, Dex. So they should be able to play fairly loose tonight. And that probably works to their advantage against an opponent the caliber of Villanova. All right, but if everybody thought that the Blue, uh, uh, Duke Blue Devils were on a hot streak, Villanova just took it to another notch. I mean, they're right now on a 13-game winning streak. And they just matched a school and Big East tournament records with 17 three-pointers in that 84-49 thrashing of Marquette in yesterday's quarterfinal. So, I mean, Ross, from where I stand, it just seems that Villanova should be the ones that are winning and covering. But am I a little, am I a little too speculative in this moment? Well, you know what, Dex? Speculating sometimes is a precursor of an assumption when it comes to sports betting. <laughs> And I'm sure you heard the comical definition of the word assumption at some point in your life. <laughs> the Wildcats have a, a plethora of experienced players. They're dynamic offensively. They've scored 74 points or more in each of their previous seven games. And despite their ter terrific record and high national ranking, in all likelihood, they still must win two more games in New York to secure a number one seed for the upcoming 2015 NCAA tournament. Although it must be said, like I alluded to before, playing for a number one seed is a lot less pressure than having to win to get into the big dance. All right, but it's going to be an interesting case uh, since the Wildcats are coming in as nine-point favorites. And it's just incredible. I mean, they have an astonishing 23-8 and eight against the spread record for the season while going 15-4 and four against the spread in conference play. I mean, I'm just adding these other, other stats that I'm about to mention just to have a broader idea of how dominant Villanova has been this season. Now, when they're favored between 7.5 to 14.5 points, they've gone 10-3 and three in that spot. In Providence, they're just 0-1 coming in as dogs in that same range. So I guess, Ross, it's safe to say that we, could, we should actually be laying the 9 points in this spot? Well, not, I, I wouldn't say it's safe, no. I mean, <laughs> I hate to throw you for a loop with all your reasoning. Oh, it's all sound. And uh, you can go on and on about the Villanova accomplishments this year, and rightfully so. But it's very difficult to beat a quality team like Providence three times in the same season. Although this is far from a favorable matchup for the Friars, especially if you look at how they fared in their first two meetings versus Villanova this season. However, I do think this game will be a lot closer than anticipated. And I like Providence to get inside the sizable number here tonight. It's never as easy as it looks in sports gambling. And this is one of the typical cases tonight. I'm going to take Providence, small play, folks. Providence plus the nine over Villanova. All right, man. You definitely threw a curveball on that one for me, man. But hey, I guess that's why they pay you the big bucks to do this. Anyways, man, thanks for the insights and the pick. We'll talk again uh, next Monday. I appreciate it, Dex, and you have a great weekend. You do the same, man. Everyone else, don't forget to check back with Ross this weekend for some more sports coverage and your free picks. Till then, for SBR Picks, this is Dax Floyd.